Welcome to the Lip Syncer tutorial series. My name is Joachim and in this series I'll explain every aspect of Lip Syncer. First, I'll give you a general introduction to lip syncing in After Effects and then go through the Lip Syncer workflow, starting with the creation of eTemplate comp, analyzing the audio file and then combine those two. I will also go over shortcuts and workflow tips. This tutorial is supposed to answer pretty much all the questions you might have. And that's why it's split into chapters. So if you're looking for something specific, you should be able to find it more quickly. Okay, so let's start. So normally you would start by creating a set of so-called by seams, which are the visual equivalent of phones, such as A, B, and it's important to note that these are not the same as letters. Because some letters, for example, B and M, look pretty much the same. So this is the reason why the total number of letters inside the language is always bigger than the number of vicemes of that language. And after you have created those mouth images, you would make a comp out of them. And align those images along the time, so that each frame displays one image, one of those vicemes. And then you would use the time remap property to animate between those frames, because if you change the value of the time remap property, you would change the image that is displayed inside your mouth comp. Then you would bring up your audio file by clicking LL, bring up the waveform, and by holding command or control and dragging through the audio file, skim through the audio file and assign the corresponding vicemes that you hear and see. So this is basically how you do how you do lip syncing in After Effects. I won't go into this in any more detail because now that you have access to lip syncer, you will never have to do this again. And the good thing about the script is that you actually don't have to know anything about the workflow I've just explained. It will automate this whole workflow. All right, so let's start right off. After you've installed the script, you can find it under Window, Lip Syncer, plus the version. The first of the three tabs is here for creating a template comp, just like in the manual workflow. Except you don't have to know which vicemes you have to use and how to align them. So this is all done automatically. So it, you have the option of either creating a comp containing four, seven, or 10 mouth images. This will determine the level of detail that your later animation is going to have. If I just hit create, you'll see that the script has created a four frames long comp containing four images. And those images are aligned along the time in a way that each frame displays one specific image and will later be animated to the spoken track. These template images are meant to be replaced by your own at some point. And this is why they include some infos on how they look and sound like. If I choose 10 instead, the script will instead create and load 10 template Im images into this comp. They are again aligned along the time so that they can be later animated using the time remap property. Lip Syncer now comes with its own speech analysis engine. For it to work, we, you will need to have Java installed. The script will check by itself whether you have the right version installed and if not, lead you to the right download page for you. Also, the speech analysis engine needs mono waveform audio footage to work with. So if you have something other than that, for example, MP3 or AAC, you will need to convert it using, for example, Adobe Media Encoder. If you do it yourself, for best results, we recommend using both 16-bit depth and 16 kilohertz sample rate. And don't forget that it has to be a mono file. 
We also made a media encoder template for this and put it on the product page. You can find the link in the description. All right, so in the next tab, the Analyze tab, it's all about the spoken track, your voiceover. This dropdown will display every compatible audio file inside your project. So in my case, just the one. And in the text box below, you write or paste its transcription. So in my case, I have this audio file. So stop wasting time. Start using LipSyncer. Visit aescripts.com slash LipSyncer. And this is its transcription. So when you're done, just click Analyze. And what it'll do in the background is it'll look for the words in the transcription and try to align them to the actual audio track. So now it tells me that there's an invalid character in my transcription, which is actually good because I don't even want the slash there. I want it pronounced. So I just type the word slash in the transcription instead and hit Analyze again. So now the script tells me that it's working. Yeah, that was pretty fast. So now there's a pop-up telling me that it, the analysis is complete and that it found all the words. And what it did was, based on the analysis information, it has created layer markers perfectly aligned to that track. So stop wasting time. Start using LipSyncer. Visit aescripts.com slash LipSyncer. In that case, it's totally fine, but if I wanted to, I could drag the, the markers around. And by double-clicking the markers, you can change their duration, which is indicated by these little bars. And these bars determines the end of the word, so it makes sense to also check those. In my case, the only thing that's not perfect is this marker here where it uh, just kicked the period and pulled the words together. But I do want the word dot pronounced, so I'll change it in the transcription. So I type dot instead of the period. And again, let the script go to work. Okay, so now that it's finished, you can see that I produced even more detail and got rid of this little error leaving me with a perfect result. Okay, so as I said, you could not drag those markers time. around and change their Start duration. Lip All your changes will affect the later animation. There's really not a lot of errors that can happen here, except one. And this is when the first word is not found. Because what will happen is th that it will warp and shift the whole analysis. And this is what I'd like to show you real quick. I happen to have an audio file where I know that this error occurs. It's the Declaration of Independence read by John F. Kennedy. So it's a huge audio file, more than 10 minutes. So you can, of course, imagine what kind of amount of work that will be to animate, but that's another story. Um, here's the transcription. I found it on the internet, so I paste it in there and hit Analyze. And this is the error, first word not found. As, I'm, as I've mentioned, if this happens, it usually means that the alignment is a little shifted and warped, and that's why we made this custom error. So if I scrub through that and play that back for you, you should see that it really is shifted because it didn't find the first word and it takes some time to come back on track again. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature... So around 15 seconds of the alignment is more or less wrong. 
And, as, and if you remember the error mes message, we recommend changing the first word temporarily to something similar. And that's what I'll do now. I'll change the first word from when to man. I haven't actually tested this, so let's see what happens. And you see that we got rid of the error, so that's a good sign. And there you go. This time the analysis is perfect. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with Unfortunately, the speech analysis engine does not support every language. In fact, the version I am using only supports English. So if you have an audio file in a language other than a supported one, you'll have to untick this checkbox. And if you do, LabSyncer will skip most of the analysis and switch to manual mode. Also, because you skip the speech analysis, the audio file does not have to be a mono waveform anymore. So as soon as you untick this, the dropdown will show every audio footage inside your project instead. And since you are skipping the analysis, you will not have to have Java installed. So I'll just show you real quick what happens when you untick this checkbox. Again, this only makes sense if your audio file is in a language other than a supported one. Bye. The speech analysis engine. After I have clicked Analyze, you'll notice that the whole process is a lot faster. This is because instead of analyzing, it will distribute the layer markers evenly along the time, instead of based on your audio file. So in manual mode, you will have to drag the markers around. So again, bring up the waveform and scrub through the audio. We'll speed up this process. So stop wasting time. Start using LipSyncer. Visit aescripts.com slash LipSyncer. Okay, so in the third tab, you would Combine what you've created in the first step and the second step. Okay, so if I hit animate, you'll see that it created a lot of keyframes on the time remap property, leading to an animation. So stop wasting time. Start using LipSyncer. Visit aescripts.com slash LipSyncer. So right there, I'm actually satisfied with the result. And I'm actually done. If you missed to do some adjustments after step two, you can of course grab the keyframes and move them around. There's also a nice shortcut, which is holding Alt while having selected multiple keyframes. And that way you can stretch and clinch multiple keyframes. You can also add, delete or change keyframes just like you're used to. Just remember that each frame number inside the time remap property corresponds to a VIC. So if you wanted this one, for example, to be a D shape, you would just come in and change this value to a two because inside the mouth comp, it's at frame number two. And there's also a difference if you used automatic or manual mode, because when you use the automatic mode, the script will actually go through a dictionary file and look through all the words inside your markers and translate them to Vicemes, which leads to a more detailed animation. Whereas if you use the manual mode, it can only animate based on the letters of your words.
in automatic mode, which means that speech analysis is turned on. If LipSyncer does not find the words by theme translation, which usually applies to more uncommon words, it will animate this word based on its letters as well. And in those cases, the script will add an exclamation mark inside of parentheses to the marker. So whenever you see these, it might be a good idea to double check those words. But in this case, I like the result. And the only step that's left now is to go inside your mouth comp that has, has been created in step one and replace each of the template images with your own. There are two ways you can do this. The one I prefer is to import your own images into your After Effects project and then select the one you want to replace inside your comp. And then by holding Alt or Option, drag the one you want to replace it with onto it. So that's one way to replace it. And the other option is to, to look the template image up inside your project and browse through your files by using right-click, replace footage, file. So those are the two ways you can do this. Okay, so now we're done. I hope this was useful to you. If you feel like I left something, please don't hesitate to ask. There's a Twitter account, you can use the comments section on AE scripts or any other way of communication you like. Until then, have fun with LipSyncer.